hey guys and welcome back to my channel so we are going to be doing a reading about carly russell i'm sure that you guys have seen this story all over social media where basically a young lady went missing a couple of days ago um, the story was that she saw a child on the side of the highway she pulled over in order to help the child and then next thing you know she just disappeared and on the scene they found her apple watch her phone and her wig so it was looking like some sort of kidnapping or something like sex trafficking related um that's what you know people were speculating and yeah it was very terrifying to everyone who heard the story obviously and um people were posting about it all over social media celebrities were posting about it like viola davis posted about it on instagram and then a couple days later Carly showed up, she reappeared at her parents' house. And so everyone was looking like, well, what happened? Where was she at? And, you know, no details were coming out. And then it turned out that she actually made this whole story up and that there wasn't a kidnapping. So um, we're going to go ahead and look into this in the cards because this is, this is a lot, y'all. I was praying for this girl so hard. Um, so naturally, when I found that she lied, I was like, what the hell is going on? I'm going to have to ask my tarot cards about this. So as always, I'm going to try to keep this reading as unbiased as possible and just, you know, give you whatever comes through the cards. Okay, so the first thing I ask my cards is why did she do all of this in the first place? And the lover's card came out in the reverse. So it's looking like this situation was relationship related because that's how i read the lover's card um you know someone who you're in a romantic relationship with um, or someone that you love in general and with it being in the reverse that means that there was some sort of relationship issues or some sort of breakup that led her to do this pretty much um i'm seeing here the queen of cups also in the knight of pentacles so what that tells me is that their relationship was one that was very um it involved a lot of like toxicity, emotional manipulation and things like that. But I don't think that things ever got this bad or escalated this far. Um, I'm seeing that she's pulled stuff like this in the past, like in order to get him to treat her right or in order to get his validation. Um, she would do like, you know, m little manipulative things. But like I, I said, I don't think that she ever did anything this over the top. Like when I say manipulative, I mean things like, you know, when you're partners and treating you right so you flirt with other people to make them mad or you post certain things on social media for them to see that's what I mean by emotional manipulation like trying to get that type of validation and attention from your partner in a, in an unhealthy or unbalanced way but like I said I don't think she's ever taken it this far honestly what I think is that with these transits that are happening right now astrologically <clears throat> excuse me um that's why things escalated like this out of control we're currently in the leo venus retrograde right now and we're going to be in this retrograde energy up until september so it's just not wise during this type of astrology transit to do anything over the top or dramatic when it comes to a lover or when it comes to an ex-lover because it's going to backfire terribly so like i said i feel like she's done little manipulative things in the past but because of this energy that's circulating right now um she took it too far this time is what i'm seeing um the knight of pentacles is here as well i'm seeing in the past when she would do little emotionally manipulative things it would work like it would work it would get them back on track in their relationship so in her mind this is the right solution when things work for you in the past you'll continue to do them until they completely backfire and then you realize you have to stop. So in the past, she has done little things to be manipulative and he would show that he cares and they would get back on track in their relationship for a little bit and then it would kind of fall apart again is what I'm seeing. Um, I also did pull the full card as well. So with the full card being here in the reverse, that to me says that her relationship was one that it was far past the honeymoon stage. You know how when you're in the honeymoon stage and the the person can do no wrong in your eyes, they're like the greatest person on earth, and then next thing you know, you get smacked with the reality of who that person is. Like they do something to you that hurts you or you find out something that they've done behind your back and it's like slapped with reality completely. Um, that's the energy that I'm getting from their relationship, like the trust being gone and there just being a lot of problems but not wanting to let the relationship go regardless of those problems, like trying to hold on, thinking that you can make it work, 
that's kind of the energy that I'm getting from their relationship, like very back and forth, on and off, um, no trust, that type of thing. So the next two cards out are the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So this card lets me know that she was warned about this. Like she either was warned from a person or she was warned from like her spirit guides or her higher self to not do this. But what I'm hearing when I pulled these cards is that um, I was hearing the like a phrase or like I'm hearing someone saying, I already lost everything. I don't have anything to lose. So that's kind of concerning because it makes me feel like the everything that she's talking about is her boyfriend. Um, like that's my everything. This is very, very codependent sort of vibes. And again, that's no, I'm not judging that whatsoever. Um, Cause I feel like a lot of us have been there, right? Feeling like a, a person is, is our everything and our, we're so wrapped up in them and like our sense of self-worth is wrapped up in them. So that's what I'm seeing. It's like that, wounded space in her is saying like I lost everything anyway like I don't have anything to lose so was willing to do something really really reckless against her better judgment or even though she was warned I'm telling y'all it's this Leo Venus retrograde energy I am telling you don't do anything dramatic over the top especially from a place of being wounded because Leo is also the card of the inner child so especially if you're in a relationship and they hit your inner child wound you during this time like up until September you will be tempted to react in a way that's very over the top and you'll end up regretting it pretty much and that's why I enjoy tarot and astrology because it can really save you from experiencing these things or making the wrong decisions you know um so that's what I'm seeing here Th this I'm hearing like I, I already lost everything so not taking heed to the warning that this is a bad idea the knight of cups in reverse i feel like that's her boyfriend's energy that's coming up with the the knight of cups um this is the energy of someone who makes promises and, and breaks them so it looks like there could have been a promise that he made to her that he once again broke or is something along those lines with the knight of cups here in the reverse and this is also talking about emotional immaturity that's why i said i i feel like this whole plan was concocted in the mind of like a child hear me out hear me out because i'm not saying she's a child i'm not saying oh let's infantilize her and so that she is not held accountable no what i'm saying is that when your inner child wounds are triggered you can sometimes come up with ways to soothe yourself that are very childish that like an adult would say oh this isn't a good idea but a child would think that anything is a good idea in order to get that validate that validation you see what i'm saying like you know how like sometimes kids act up and they act out in order to get like attention from their parents um it's like that but in adult form you see what i'm saying it's like her inner child wounding co concocting this plan and the adult part of her being shut out like the adult part of her saying that would have told her no this probably isn't a good idea is completely shut out at this point and it's this it's like decisions made specifically from your place of wounding i hope that makes sense um so next we have the ten of cups the magician card the moon and the six of cups so with the ten of cups being here this is the outcome that she wanted she wanted basically for her and her boyfriend to live happily ever after together and in her mind this was going to be the thing that did it that's why i said it feels like it's coming from a very childish or childlike place like thinking like oh if i do this then we'll end up happy together even though for one this plan like i said it was way over the top and so many things could have went wrong and two their relationship is just not a good relationship regardless so this is like someone who is kind of uh, a little bit delusional um when it comes to the relationship i'm not even gonna lie and again i'm not coming from a place of judgment at all but she really thought that this would be a good outcome the moon card is here and also the six of cups is here this is childhood trauma without a doubt the moon is the mother. The six of cups is your childhood. This is childhood trauma. I wouldn't be shocked if she has like a toxic mother. Um, it wouldn't shock me. A toxic mother or some sort of toxic parental figure or some sort of toxic uh, family. It's something along those lines because this is definitely inner child wounding and this plan was concocted from that space. And also her wounds are what is keeping him her tied to that person in the first place. Whew heavy energy sad energy because when i look at these cards like i said all i can see is like a child that's really just wanting to be loved and 
doing very irrational things to achieve that, but thinking in their mind that it's going to work out well. Oh, goodness. Okay. So what I'm also getting here, too, is that basically she was hoping that the feeling of him being so scared and, and worried for her safety, that it would be so strong that the relief that he felt when she showed back up would make him completely change and be a better partner to her. Like You know how when someone that you love is hurt or even pass away and there's that grief that comes with it where you're like, oh my gosh, if I could just see them one more time or, you know, I wish I would have treated them better while they were here. And, you know, that's the type of energy she was trying to create within him so that then when he when she reappears, he would just have this feeling of relief. Like, oh, I get a second chance to be with this person. I'm never going to mess up again. That's the energy that she wanted from him. Oh, goodness. Again, coming from a child, childlike, childish type of state, thinking, thinking that way. Um, yeah, so let's look at their relationship. We have the world card here, and it's in the reverse. So they are in a karmic relationship for sure for sure for sure the world card being here very karmic um and karmic relationships are not really supposed to last they're supposed to show you certain wounds within yourself so that you can heal so that you can heal them um but because of how toxic karmic relationships are they can have a very strong hold on you you know you can even, you can even have a trauma bond with that person if you're in a karmic relationship so that's what i'm seeing for her and this person very hard to leave the relationship but it's clearly not a good relationship i'm seeing here that when they would fight we have the knight of swords here it used to be a lot of harsh words towards each other um the queen of wands is here the relationship was definitely like destroying her sense of self-confidence I, I feel like she had an issue with confidence before that before they were in this relationship but this relationship definitely um yeah this relationship definitely ate away at her self-confidence for sure which karmic relationships tend to do um the strength card is also here in the reverse the devil card yeah very clear toxic trauma bond addictive codependent sort of energy and just feeling like you don't have the strength to to walk away um, the King of Cups is also here in the Ace of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here with the King of Cups is that he has this side to him that is very loving and nurturing and caring. But then behind your back, he'll turn around and do something very disloyal or disrespectful. And I feel like she was continuously trying to fight for this relationship because she was fighting for that part of him, that part of him that is so loving towards her, so nurturing towards her. She wanted him to be like that full time. And that's why she kept fighting for this relationship. It's like hanging on to the good part of him, but not wanting to acknowledge the reality of the situation that this person has definitely been disloyal in some way or has done something to cause her to become unstable um, is what I'm seeing. It's like when you meet someone and you think they're like the nicest, kindest, most like emotionally nurturing person in the world. And you're like, I'm so lucky to have this person. And then next thing you know, you find out that they did something really, really disloyal behind your back. And it causes like this instability where you're like, is this you? Like, which one is the real you? Like, that's what I'm kind of getting from her. Like she was back and forth in her head. Like you treat me so well, or like you're so emotionally nurturing, but then you turn around and do this behind my back. So which one is the real you? And like her clinging to the emotionally nurturing part of him except acknowledging that two of these things can exist in the same person someone can be very nurturing emotionally like they're there for you through a tough time and they could also be the type of person that will go and make selfish decisions behind your back those two spaces can occupy one person which is terrible um, because it really does leave you in a state of confusion but yeah i feel like he doesn't have what it takes to or he doesn't have the the uh tools to have a long-term stable healthy relationship without doing something behind the person's back that's what i'm seeing and again i hope this isn't coming across as like like blaming either one of them again this is coming from a very unbiased uh, space just trying to explain why she would be clinging on so much but this relationship really had no hope of being stable at all it really didn't because again behind her back it was always something going on um yeah no no stability so the next two cards out are the eight of wands the king of swords so this is how he felt when she went missing the eight of wands he was definitely frantic definitely panicked 
the ace of swords being here is like he was trying to stay balanced like trying to stay strong um but feeling like he didn't really feel like he was in full control of his emotions like this is something very intense um this caused like very intense emotions within him that i feel like he's the type of person that usually can stay in control of his emotions um or he has the ability to suppress them or something like that but in this case he couldn't do that like he did have a very strong emotional reaction to this let me pull one more seven of pentacles let's see queen of swords oh what is this the queen of swords that's her energy there's some sort of argument that took place and the seven of pentacles I i'm getting that as him like kind of reminiscing or not reminiscing but thinking about the argument that they had that they had the high priestess Ooh. Ooh, the high priestess is in the reverse that's that's like mistress energy mm. i'm wondering if there was like an argument over that, that like involved another woman that he was thinking about while she went missing let me pull one more nine of pentacles there was definitely another yeah there was definitely another woman involved in this high priestess in the reverse i'm wondering if they had an argument because he was dealing with another woman and that's what was playing in his mind when she went missing mm. okay then so the next two cards out we have the star card and we have the five of swords so this is how he's feeling now with the star card being here in the reverse that's like no hope no healing like he doesn't feel like there's any way to fix the situation the five of swords being here in the reverse like him feeling defeated for sure feeling played because he had such a strong emotional reaction to her disappearing it almost makes him feel foolish if that makes sense like if you're someone who's used to being in control of your relationship and you're put in a situation where you lose control of your emotions completely um and then it turns out that it wasn't even the truth yeah it's like that type of person is going to really feel i mean anybody would feel some type of way about it but especially a person who's very used to being in control of their emotions you know what's so crazy quick side note years ago i was dating this person who was very emotionally unavailable and they were someone who liked to stay in control of their emotions and um, I remember I was complaining to one of my former friends about this person. And she was telling me like, oh, if there's ever a time where you come across someone who loves to be in control of the relationship or sorry, in control of their emotions, you have to fake being sick or fake that you got like into a car accident or something like that, because that's the thing that will like penetrate through their wall of of unbothered. Um, and I was like, what? Like, do people actually do that? And she was like, yeah, girl, I'm telling you, if someone's showing you that they just do not care, go ahead and lie to them and tell them that you're in the hospital or something. And then just turn your phone off for like two or three days. And I bet you it'll, it'll break right through that uncaring, unbothered sort of wall that they have. And I was like, oh, that's, that's a bit extreme. So then I went to the guy I was dating and I told him about it. I didn't tell him like, oh, my friend told me to do this because that would be throwing her under the bus obviously but i went to like ask him about it like is that something that would work on you and he was just like yes that would work on me and don't ever do that like he got so like even the thought of it made him irate like the thought of faking something happening to you and him not being able to be in control of his of his emotions and then turning out that it wasn't true and he lost that control for no reason yeah he got pissed at the thought of someone even doing that and again anybody would be upset at that but especially somebody who's used to being in control of their emotions so that's what i'm kind of seeing for him feeling foolish that he lost control of his emotions and just feeling played um so as for carly we have the two of wands and we have the hierophant card so with the two of wands being here she wants to leave like she wants to move away completely um, she might be actually looking into moving somewhere else far away um yeah she wants to be gone the hierophant card in here 
here is in the reverse so that's like isolating from society like wanting to withdraw completely and wanting to go far away somewhere people okay i hope that she's surrounded by at least some people that can understand her or help her and again i'm not trying to not hold her accountable or coddle her but i don't like this energy this is the energy of feeling trapped and uh, like this is the type of energy that makes people want to not be on earth anymore like that's the like the best way i can say it without saying the word um i just hope she has people around her that yeah i don't like that energy and again, I'm well aware she is the one who chose to do this. So anything that she's feeling right now, you know, she needs to be accountable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I see energy like this, it does make me feel concerned because it's the energy of someone who does not want to be here anymore or who kind of doesn't see any way out. Like they don't really see how they could possibly make a situation like this better. Things backfiring so terribly and you're not expecting it to back backfire so terribly and you got the exact opposite outcome of what you wanted wanted to be loved wanted to be in a stable relationship but now not only the relationship is gone but now like the whole world knows that you lied about this you know or i don't like that energy honestly the three of swords is here in the reverse and the hangman so um i feel like as time goes on, well first of all she's going to hang on to this for a very 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 long time a very very long time um three of swords I almost feel like at some point her heart might even like like harden like her heart might even turn off because she can't deal with the emotions that comes with everything that's happening right now i'm hearing like this is a nightmare this can't be happening and you know that's crazy because um that's how karmic energy works right like when you do something and it makes people feel a certain way what will happen usually is that you'll be put in a situation to feel that same way that you made other people feel. So her, like the people who were looking for her or the people who love her, they were feeling like this cannot be happening. This feels like a nightmare. And now that energy is on her now where she's like, this cannot be happening. This is, this is like a nightmare. I'm telling you, it just doesn't feel like she thought this was the, the work of like, inner child wounds like making your decisions for you and then the consequences of it being like oh no like i really thought this was going to work out that's what i'm seeing oh lord okay let me pull one more three of wands yeah she wants to get away real bad i don't i don't know where she would even go though this type of thing where like you want to just erase everything that happened but you can't so then your mind starts thinking of ways on how you can escape it instead and then your mind still is drawing a blank like i don't even know how to even escape this like i can never really live a normal life anymore like that's the sort of energy that i'm getting let me pull one more the emperor yeah feeling completely and totally out of control Whew. okay so y'all during this transit and i'm gonna do a whole video on the leo venus retrograde please do not do anything over the top especially if it's coming from a place of inner child wounding no antics no dramatics try to keep yourself as balanced as possible because like i said it will backfire and if you have a relationship that makes you feel this way like that you have to jump through hoops or you have to do the most or you have to be emotionally manipulative in order for them to see you and value you throw that relationship in the trash as much as it may hurt go and get some sort of help or support to walk away from this because these types of things just never end well and when you don't walk away when you know you should usually what will happen is that you'll be dragged away from it in a very very big explosive way and i feel like that's exactly what happened here her being dragged away from that relationship because she didn't want to let go so that's what i'm seeing Oh, Lord. I know social media is just going to be vicious about this for a very long time. And this It's going to be a lot for her to... It's going to be a lot for her to carry. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I really hope that this was helpful. Um, 
thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video